Welcome to another unturned video. Today we're going to continue the Elver server where we left off last time. If you haven't watched the previous episode, we basically started off, got into a ton of PvP as a solo versus many players, visited the dead zone and did our first base raid where from there we got a ton of loot. Today we're going to continue, we're going to get into more PvP and even a live base raid against a stack duo. If you guys want episode 3 to come out soon, which is the final part of this series, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 300 likes. If you guys reach this goal, I would be very very happy. Also make sure to subscribe, we're less than 100 subscribers away from 20,000. Last video I also announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my discord which will be the first link in the description below and contact me there. In this video we're going to roll another mythical to a random viewer. The mythical this time is a freezing warfare determinator. To enter the giveaway make sure that you're subscribed and like the video and put a comment below and without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to farm as much metal as possible, I did bring the drill with me and over here there's a lot of metal nodes and on the server since it is about high times loot I think even more spawn so that's even better. Now all of this scrap I'm just going to put them into cans and then when I'm at the base I'll just make them back into normal metal with the blowtorch and I'm going to make as much saves as possible and probably just start upgrading base make it full metal as well. Now I do have circuit boards so I can make even the big saves. Back in base got myself a full inventory of metal. Now with the blowtorch I'm just going to make some saves because my base is actually full of saves and I have no more space. I guess this one could fit in there as well. Now what I really need right now is a heat wave to be honest in order to start raiding actually big bases. Now I'm probably either going to try to farm enough items to make myself a heart beacon or a scripture one of those. So I'm going to extend base over here I'm just going to make it full metal even the pillars just so that we have ourselves a bit more space. Now I should have enough to actually make everything out of metal. I'll just put that war over there so that we don't actually waste it. And then I'll have to salvage all of these crates but it shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. Alright, and this is done. So, now I have myself a bit more storage than before, which is really good. Now, I'm gonna go out there and I'm just going to get into some PvP. I'm gonna make some rifle racks because last time I did like a wall of rifle racks and uh, seemed pretty nice, to be honest. Every single gun that I'll get, I put them in a rifle rack. Oh, well, there were people here. There's a guy right over there. And I kind of missed everything and now he knows about me. And he's dead anyway. Uh, reflection, some food, some meds, nothing that good. I'll take the ammo though. If I'm gonna do a hard beacon, I need to farm as much ammo as possible. And here's some shots as well. I think it's a wisp, probably at the mall. Alright, well, there's a loot pie right over over here. I hear some shots. Ah, and I am going to die. Never mind. Oh, there's another dude here. He's dead as well. Oh, don't let me pick up this important loot. Dude! Literally, the whole server is here all of a sudden. Any good load? Pog. Oh, he has some thick clothes. I don't really need those right now, though. I should probably get out of here. I don't know how the hell he didn't kill me over there. That was so close. Oh, there's some shots happening from up here. Yeah, it's clueless. Alright, there we go. Bunch of more guns. We'll take that ammo. There's more people, though. I'm full of loot. I could literally just home right now. So in order for me to make myself the horde beacon, I need green crystals. And there, I've, I've got enough. I literally only needed one. I had three in base. I right, well, somebody's raiding with a heat wave. Never mind, there's like three heat waves being shot at right now. I'm gonna try to counter. Even if I get one heat wave, I'm happy because that, that's literally all I need. I don't know where from where they were shooting. If they only shoot again, I could probably tell, but it's definitely like a team of two or more. There's a team of five on the server, which I'm kind of scared that it's them. Yeah, I actually do think it's them. There's definitely three or more getting shots right now. I'm gonna try to counter raid them. Even if I kill one person that has a heat wave, I'm probably I probably will leave. Yeah, I'm getting closer. Oh, well, I think they're raiding this bunker then. I'm gonna push when they're shooting so that they wouldn't hear me. It's healed up from back there, but this bunker could enter from here as well. Yeah, I hear them reloading there. Wait, how the hell am I gonna get in? I think they sealed up from behind them. Oh, when they stop shooting up prone so they don't hear me. Oh, I can enter from here, okay. Yeah, I'm literally gonna go in so slow. If I do manage to kill one and has a heat wave, I'll leave. I don't care. I'm terrified right now. Alright, well, they're inside there in that room. Alright, two guys. I'm gonna camp, I don't care. Three guys. Alright, one dead. Heat wave? Alright, yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> There we go, got ourselves a heat wave. Could have probably gotten a wave ton of more loot, but all I needed was that heat wave. All right, yeah, that guy was in the team of five. Um, thankfully, I did leave. I probably would have died if I stayed. We got ourselves a fully decked out heat wave. Let's go. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still going to do a horde beacon. I have myself a horde beacon, a bunch of ammo, drill, a bunch of meds. Hopefully, I do not die because if I do, I'm going to be 
extremely upset. Now, what I do want from this horde beacon is either more heat waves or heat wave ammo. That, that's literally it. Other than that, I I don't care. Whatever we get, as long as I get high caliber ammo for for heat wave. After that, I will go hit up a raid. I think I know a couple more bases. I hopefully they didn't get raided since yesterday. Hopefully I don't get countered actually. If the team of five hears me do the Horde Beacon, I am going to be pretty upset. Alright, Horde Beacon has been placed. Now I'll focus on killing the Spitters and the Flamers first because the others aren't really that annoying. But the Spitters are the most annoying out of all of these zombies. Even the Flamers to be honest. They are already almost dead. <laughs> Mega zombie is dead now. I just gotta clear off the last two zombies. Mostly just a bunch of flankers and crawlers. All right, and the hard beacon is done. All right, heat wave. Already, I see 300, 400 caliber, high caliber shots. All right, let's put in vault already. We'll put that. We got mesh, another drill, a bunch of high kill, some magenta crystals. We'll drop all of the empty magazines. We'll take these magenta crystals. I could take these and just salvage them to be honest, make myself some dressings, except for the big bags, the big bags are actually really good. Alright, I am happy with this hard beacon, got ourselves some good loads, especially the high caliber ammo, that's really all I needed. I love these circuit boards too, we can make ourselves like vault doors, the big lockers. I think I just found a live raid, uh, there is a generator in there, but I think I heard steps, I'm not 100% sure. Now I could go back and get myself more raiding gear, I can make myself an explosive, I'm pretty sure. Now the base is not that big, it's full metal though, and there's some crystallized parts. There's some crops out here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to base, get myself the explosive, and then if it's not enough, I do have myself the heat wave. Our area isn't claimed either, so that's really good. I did get myself enough raiding gear, now I'm gonna go back, yeah, I'm literally right over here. I'm gonna prone so they don't hear me, so then I just literally surprise them and oh wait he's dead well he just he did just get out oh, crystallized wall and a bunch of ammo okay right, let's get the explosive with we'll hotkey the detonator wait first we gotta build the ladder so we go up i'm gonna raid from the center all right yeah there's a hatch that's even better i we'll place that right over there detonator we'll explode that did it break oh come on go up bro I didn't even break. All right, well, no problem. We'll have to use the heat wave then. All right, I hear them inside as well, so I know that they're there. Uh, it's a duo. Uh, prop. Yeah, he's pushing. All right, one dead. One more dead. All right, and both beds are broken. Okay, let's go. This guy had. He has a ton of. He has a ton of nez actually. What the hell? Right, where did I kill this guy? Pendiculator. Let's go. Okay. All right. Um, we did go inside that room, but we still gotta break this hatch. All right, we are in. Okay. Everything is literally open. There's a devastator here and the turret. Break that, we get another one. Alright, well, we have to reload. 100 shots already put in. Let's check out what's inside here. Okay, well, a bunch of ammo. A bunch of guns over here. There is a lot of ammo, actually. We'll take all of these important items. Sniper ammo, uh, the grenades. There's some high cal as well. Fill this one up. So much ammo, actually. They have so much high cal. There's a billion sniper magazines. Alright, we'll break the turret, though. That's really important ourselves a devastator let's go right, there's this large metal safe as well we'll break this one hopefully some good loot in this one oh yeah actually okay another respirator let's go so much naz that's like how much 20k mysterious chest drill oh my god yeah we're stacked from this raid actually we gotta mean ourselves so much money let's check out what's inside these wardrobes i didn't even see all right this one cyan cyan crystal okay a bunch of components blowtorch gyroscopes grenades Oh, that's actually pretty good. All right, let's vault some stuff. We'll vault the high kill, the pendiculator. We'll vault all of this naz. Uh, a bunch of rubber. Sentry engine. Take that. A bunch of rubber, a bunch of glue. We actually do need glue, to be honest. We'll take the devipulator batteries, all of those gyros. Three pucks. We don't need those, though. They could despawn. Take the sand crystal as well. Okay, well, uh, we still have a ton to raid in this base, actually. But I am full of loot. So I will probably go back to base depot and, and then I'll return later on. We still have to raid in this room. Let's check out that we didn't leave anything important here. There's some. There's a billion tusks. I will take the graphics card, actually. Uh, let me drop those. We don't need those that much, to be honest. The graphics card. And this one is just full of ammo. I will salvage this one and we'll place it in front of it instead of it. There we go. We are back. I'm gonna make sure that I didn't leave anything important. I'm gonna take all of these sniper ammo, especially since I'm running around with the lab rebel. It's a lot of ammo, actually. We could raid literally a whole base with that. More high cal as well. The owners did rage quit, obviously. It's a heat wave up there as well, actually. We could get that. Okay, uh, over here. 
parachute. Now I could probably actually get all of these items and make them into cans. Salvage them, make them into lockers and upgrading base. Uh, we're gonna break this door now, obviously. Hopefully, it's not a waste of ammo. Hopefully, there's actually some loot in there. Alright, and we are through. Yeah, another large box and full of loot. Let's go. We got ourselves... Uh, there's mesh. There's actually a ton of guns as well. A bunch of cans, a billion grenades, magenta crystals for days. There's another sentry engine. There's valentines. There's another detonator, military radios. Okay, well, that's not too bad, I guess, to be honest. Um, what can I take, actually, from all of this? We don't really need that much guns because I already have a ton. And I don't really die that often. Alright, I'll let everything despawn, though. So nobody can come in, get the loot, and probably kill me with it. Alright, and we are back in base. Now I'm gonna deep and i'm gonna go back pick up everything that i left all of the guns and i'm going to salvage them make them into cans so that we can actually upgrade base oh, there are some people shooting uh, probably at the mall obviously i'm gonna go over there and kill them vehicle just exploded it's right over there well i'm gonna push him obviously he has no clue about me and he is dead let's go and he is a solo i think right, let's go check out what loot he has uh pog nothing that good all right well i'm here for green crystals i need them in order to make myself a sacrificial scripture in order to go to the safe zone the safe zone i can put myself the mystery box hopefully i got some good loot claim all the quests and from all that nest that i got from the other raid i can actually buy whatever i want i'm gonna take all of this nest with me i i'm going to go to the safe zone i did craft myself the scripture put them in the vault for now so if i die they wouldn't get them the blowtorch back over there now i can go to the ghost Station. I'm very very close to it. Uh, let's get the uh, scripture out of vault. We'll put that over there We'll take all of this ammo because why not? All right, and we are in the safe zone We'll get ourselves the balloon. I'm gonna unlock this box and we got ourselves Okay, a high caliber box hellcat a thick helmet and terror radio nothing that good to me. I'm gonna claim all of these quests if I do get to do them then that's good I guess if I don't that's all right we already finished this quest, the key card one. So damn, we're rich now. This guy also has a couple of quests. Now, from that nest that I have, I literally only want to buy one thing. That one thing is literally just a stock, which is called the Raider stock. Makes my crosshair a literal dot. I mean, yeah, I need to get myself some nests from my vault because I don't have enough. It's literally the most expensive one, but it's definitely the best one as well. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for episode 2, I really hope you enjoyed. Now the final episode, which is episode 3, will continue with more raids, more PvP. If you guys do want that episode to come out very soon, make sure that you've liked and subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!